Hey, what is up guys? One step up here in today's video. It's another deck request episode and I'll be playing the Expo, annoying Expo deck which every single person on earth <laughs> hates this deck. So, as you can see my my Expo is at level 1 and I actually need to upgrade this to at least level 4 so that I can play in tournament standards and so expensive I'm like wasting around 10 to 15 thousand gold to get it to level 4 and, and yeah and the night witch draft challenge is gonna start in 17 hours so probably I'm gonna upload this video after this witch draft challenge or maybe before I'm not really sure but um, who cares now let's start this classic challenge and without wasting any time I'm gonna jump into this and we face against Maynat from DZ Force and we got a pretty okay starting hand I'm gonna start with Ice Spirit behind and Knight in front so I'm gonna use Expo right away because the Knight's tanking for it and let's see what he plays Mini P.E.K.K.A Okay, I'll play this and once that baby dragon targets I can play that and now I can play Ice Spirit that should freeze it long enough Okay, I, I was just about in time to put that knight and the mega minion targeted the knight instead of the expo so Yeah, the first push took his tower down and some tips about this expo deck is when you take one tower down you need to start playing defensive so you can place the expo somewhere over here so you can defend against anything that he plays and I'm probably gonna do that but I need my inferno tower before I play expo because inferno is better against the golem as opposed to expos and I can play um, yeah, he's played the baby dragon. That's pretty good. I'll play this and this And then this and then this that should take that mini P.E.K.K.A down quite easily And this Golemites are not gonna do much anyways, so Let's see what he plays if he plays another pump I can easily fireball So they they're gonna get like one or two elixir lead if I fireball And he's not playing anything, so I'm just gonna Good defensive expo I could have gone offensive as well but it doesn't really matter because he's not gonna get through within one minute I'm pretty confident about my defense so let him play his golem I can play my inferno again and actually I'm gonna cycle cards to defend against that ex I mean that golem and I'm gonna play knight behind I can you know what I can start trolling putting another expo here and and Inferno Tower over here. And then Ice Spirit here. I can use a fireball. I can go log. Okay, log wasn't really needed. But anyways, we still did that and defended it so easily. I'll go Expo right here. I think should pull that golem. And play a few skeletons to distract and then play my Mega Minion to take his down. So it actually didn't pull the golem since he played it right in the corner and two seconds remaining he did a good effort to get the golem to my tower but anyways we still won it's gotta be GG and I, I think this guy is like 2500 trophies what <laughs> seriously I thought you were like 20, 2500 he's like 4426 why did he play that bad so let me just donate and I'll hop into another classic challenge with the same expo deck. And we're facing against Nick. And we have the expo as the starting hand, but I don't really want to play the expo. So, but this hand is pretty, pretty bad. So I'm just going to play Ice Spirit behind. And I'll go defensive expo because bring offensive expo with no support troops is kind of like a waste. So I'll go with that and I'm gonna actually log that battle ram because if I don't it's gonna hit my tower and that's gonna be really really bad 
and I'm gonna begin cycling a few cards behind to get to another expo. Yeah, so expo is my next card, and I can play Ice Spear right here. And I'm gonna immediately place it. So that's gonna be good enough defense for the expo. My other expo is doing a good job taking his troops down. And I'm gonna play skeletons and also log this back so those barbs die much quicker than that. And expo still locked onto the furnace. And I'm not gonna place anything right now because he's probably not gonna place. The ice spirit's gonna retarget that. Okay, a bit too late on that. I should have played my knight instead. But not the worst thing. And I can go Mega Minion here to tank for those. I don't want to take too much damage from those Goblin goblin Gangs because that's... I mean it looks like it's not going to do much damage but it actually does a lot. So here I'm going to wait till I hit 10 Elixir and I'm going to play Skeletons behind. I'll probably... yeah I'm going to split it right here. And I'm going to go another defensive Expo right here to take his furnace down and I can set up for another expo by cycling a few cards and I'm gonna go this and this that should take that down quite easily along with help of the expo so I'm gonna play Mega Minion behind what he has a P.E.K.K.A does he have a Electro Wiz? I'm not really sure so I'm gonna play Inferno Tower right on top so that should take down his and I'm gonna log and that should deal with it just fine. I'm gonna play my Expo right now. So that's gonna take down those archers. I'm gonna play Knight to tank for that Expo. I spare to take that. I mean that battle ram. And I'm gonna log it. Expo targets the furnace. I can also place another Expo if I could, but I cannot. I'm gonna play Inferno Tower in front to take that. P.E.K.K.A down, I'm gonna play Ice Spirit right here and I'm gonna play Knight to defend then log it and the Expo finally targets the tower I'm gonna put few skeletons and put Mega Minion here and I'll go Expo again Ice Spirit to stop that Battle Ram from coming in if he plays Goblin Gang I have my log he plays P.E.K.K.A okay not the worst thing and yeah I can just log right now Push it back. I'm gonna go few skeletons again. The Inferno Tower. I'm just thinking how annoyed this person is right now because he literally cannot get through my defense. <laughs> and when I personally face Expos, I feel so annoyed that you know the worst feeling once the Expo locks on the tower, and you you feel so hopeless. Like you cannot retarget that Expo into another troop unless you have a zap. And who even carries a zap spell in these days because zap's not that viable of a card right now. So anyways, I'm going to jump into third live match and we are up against Ace Master from Clutch Arrows. So again, I'm going to start off Ice Spirit here and okay, so yeah, that I'm going to use Mega Minion instead. And let's see what he, res what he has to respond to my Mega Minion or else it's going to get two hits off. I'm gonna play that. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna waste a bit of elixir here because if I, yeah, that those skeletons did a lot of job. I mean, a good job there. Wow, really well played by this guy. He knows that I was shot in elixir, and I was a bit distracted in defending that. And look at his minor placement. Wow, <laughs> this guy is good. So, I'll still need to use my Mega Minion even though it's gonna go down from that Inferno Tower. But it's alright. He's giving me a thumbs up. Let's give him a thumbs up also. And... I'm gonna go Knight here. And I know he's gonna play another Inferno Tower. But... Before he does that, I'm gonna play Skeletons in front of it. And I'm gonna log. And I have my Ice Spirit now, so that should retarget that Inferno Tower. But the Inferno Tower is so low on health already, so I'm gonna place another Knight. So the Knight um, takes down that Miner, and unfortunately for him, the Expo does a lot of damage. 
So the next time you, I play my expo, I'll need to put skeletons in front right away or else he's gonna put Inferno Tower. Well played, okay, give him a thumbs up. And I'm gonna go Mega Minion and build a good push so that I can put my expo down. And he plays that, I'm gonna play this. Let's see if he plays this Inferno Tower. Why isn't he playing it? I'm gonna fireball and also log, so that's in an insane good defense. I'm gonna play Ice Spirit here to retarget. Oh, it's a bit too late. And he's playing pretty well, stopping my egg spell constantly. And now he plays his Inferno Tower. Wow. I'm gonna go Skeletons and Mega Minion. And the Expo is gonna outrange that um, Inferno Tower, so that's gonna be good. Knight, yeah, it's on time. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm waiting for him to play Minion Horde or Skeleton Army. I'm gonna log that. If he plays Minion Horde, I have my Fireball. And. Okay, that's a lot of work. Then I'm immediately gonna put another Expo down and put Fire Spirit here because he might play his Minion Horde. And I'm gonna play Knight in front. <laughs> the tower is going down, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's gonna be GG. I know it's so fun trolling around with Expo decks. And let's just check how high he's on trophies. He's laughing at me. I'm not really, I'm not really sure why, but 5,000 trophies. And he's a spellbait player. And he lost quite easily. I, I, I didn't really feel any pressure, but he did play quite well in the beginning. And. I don't know how long this video is. I'm just gonna play another match because I'm enjoying playing with this Expo deck. It's kind of like trolling around. And and it feels even better when you beat someone like 5,000 trophies. So I'm gonna play Skeletons here. See what he's gonna play. Why doesn't he play anything? I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna log. And that's gonna be, yeah, perfect defense. I'm gonna set up an expo right here. So the knight's gonna tank for it. Hopefully he does not play too many air stuff. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play ice spirit. And okay, but knight was wasted. Okay, it wasn't wasted actually. So the expo finally targets the tower. I'm gonna keep my log ready if he has anything else. Um, just, let's just let that expo die off. And we, we got his tower down to half health, and that's pretty good start. And if he plays a Hog Rider, I have my Inferno Tower, because any other card would allow the Hog to get two swings off. So I'm not going to play it. And he does that. I'm going to play an Inferno right here. If he has Lightning, please Lightning, I don't care. And... Okay, I'm going to log that, because if I don't, it's going to do a lot of damage. I'll wait till 10 elixir and cycle back to... I don't need cycle because expo is in my hand. I'm just gonna drop a few cards to stack up troops and then play my expo. And hopefully he does not set up an inferno, right? Okay, that's a crappy placement for the expo because... Okay, he rockets that. So he has rocket for my expo. I might need to fireball cycle him out because... Every time I'm gonna put my expo, he's gonna rock it. And that's not gonna be good for me. So I'm gonna play Knight here. If he has Hog, I still have my Inferno again. And I'm gonna play Mega Minion here. Okay, I'm not gonna log that because I need it for Goblin Barrel. I'm gonna Ice Spirit right here. And now I can log. Please don't rock it, it's gonna be a big value for him. Okay. I'm gonna use another Mega Minion, take it down, and use Skeletons. Ice Spirit, please. Oh no. So, Expo still manages to lock onto the tower. Um, actually, I'm gonna put another one right here. I, I might have placed it a bit too much in front. So, I'm gonna log that. Slightly misplaced with that log. I'm gonna play Ice Spirit, Mega Minion. Let, I'll just ignore that. I'm Goblin Barrel on the left, it's not gonna do that much. I took his right tower down, so what does that mean? I'm gonna go defensive expo, and he's not gonna get two with his hog. Um, I'm just gonna place another inferno tower to troll him, 
and log nothing put play skeletons this guy's gonna be gg and we're gonna wrap this up video this video up by checking his trophies so we just played four live matches and i think all these four matches went pretty well and he's at 35 3700 not too high on trophies and he's the leader of the clan why why do you leaders lead the clan down but anyways jokes apart i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit the like button comment down below if you need any helps in any decks and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more contents like these i'm one step up and i'll see you guys in my next video Peace.